Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn a little bit about writing with hieroglyphics, which, as I mentioned in our art challenge, are the pictographic writing style of ancient Egypt. Instead of using letters like we do, they had little pictures that represented um, each letter in the alphabet. Sometimes a single picture would be for like a couple of different letters, depending on what the letter is. And sometimes they'd have pictures that would represent um, a whole word, and they also had ones for numbers and things like that. So today we're going to do a short video about how to write your name in hieroglyphics. So um, we're going to go online. I put a link, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Um, there's a fun website that has lots of information about ancient Egypt. Um, it's called discoveringegypt.com and on there they have a keyboard that lets you type with our English letters and it will show you what the hieroglyphic letter would be. So you can go on there, you can type your name, you can type secret messages. It's a really fun um, tool to play with to learn about hieroglyphics. So I went on there and I typed in my name. I'm gonna do my first name for our example. Um, one important thing to know about hieroglyphics is that instead of writing from left to right like we do, a lot of times, and I'll show you on this little canister, has some hieroglyphics on it, but instead of writing across, Sometimes they would write across like we do from left to right, but sometimes they would also write up and down. So they'd start at the top and they'd go down with their writing and then they'd start the new line and go to the next one and go up and down instead of sideways. I'm not sure which, what reason they chose to do what thing, I'm not sure, but that's a different thing from the way that we write. Another different thing that they do, um, in order to show someone's name, they would put around someone's name a special shape called a cartouche. It looks like this, it's an oval with a little flat thing on the bottom. And it was done to make people's names stand out from all the other writing on a wall or in a picture or something like that. So I can show you an example. Here is a painting from a tomb in ancient Egypt and you can see there's the main picture and all this writing on the wall. All of this is writing, okay? Now to distinguish someone's name, from the rest of the writing, they would put it in a cartouche. So right there is someone's name, and also right there is someone's name. Actually, it's the same name if you look at it. It's the name of the person whose tomb this was, an important person. So if you were looking at this big wall of writing, and let's say you didn't really have time to read all of it, <laughs> and you wanted to know who it was for or who it was about, you could look for the cartouche and you could find their name very easily amongst all the other pictures on the wall. So the cartouche was really important to distinguish people's names from other writing. So whenever you write your name in hieroglyphics, you have to put a cartouche around it. Okay, so I went to the website and I used the keyboard and I also looked at my little, I have a card that has all the letters on it too. And I figured out what the letters for my name are in hieroglyphics. So I'm going to write my name for you guys, my first name. So my first letter of my first name is E. So I'm going to start with the first picture, which is a feather. You can see right there is E. It's a feather. So I'm going to draw my feather right there at the top. I'm going to go from the top and go down. So there's my feather. And then the next letter that the typewriter showed on this page shows is an R, which is a mouth. So I'm going to go right there and draw a mouth. Then my next letter is I, which is the same as E, it's a feather again. So I'm gonna draw another feather. And my last letter is N, which is a wave of water. So I'm going to draw my wave of water. It's just a zigzaggy line that shows a wave of water. And because it's my name, what do I have to put around it? My cartouche. So I'm going to draw my oval shape And then I'm going to put my flat card at the bottom. And I'm going to go around it again just to make it look a little bit nicer. But you can go on there and you can write any messages that you want in hieroglyphics. So anyway, there's my name. If 
I were an ancient Egyptian, that would be how I would write my name. And that's what I would put around it to show everybody that that's my name. So that's a fun thing you can do. One more interesting thing. Um, the ancient Egyptians did not have nice paper like we do. This kind of white paper that we write on all the time or draw on. Um, but they, so of course they did not have paper factories in ancient Egypt, so they had to make their own paper. And what they did was they took a plant called papyrus, which kind of looks like my little cartoon there. But it's a tall plant with lots of spiky leaves, and they would take the stems and they would peel the stems apart and like dry them out. And then they would weave them together and dry them out even more and kind of smash them until it was nice and flat and thin like paper. And it was pretty smooth. It's a little bit rougher than our paper that we have today, obviously, because it's made of woven together plants. But it's pretty smooth, and it would be pretty nice to write and draw on. And another cool thing about it is that it lasted a really long time. We have found um, things written on pieces of papyrus um, from thousands and thousands of years ago in ancient Egypt. So it was a good choice for them to use it as paper because it lasted a really long time. So that's what it looks like. And... If you were in school in ancient Egypt, because they had school in ancient Egypt, um, you would be writing all of your homework on this kind of papyrus instead of regular paper. So there's that. Kind of cool.